NASA made the announcement early in the month of June that it would be commissioning an independent investigation into an unexplained aerial phenomenon, or UAP, which is the new name that has recently been given to UFOs. But what exactly is the big deal? And how much further is NASA planning to go? Are you curious to find out? Then let's just get started watching the video straight away. Data is the language of scientists, and it makes the unexplainable explainable, was the rationale that NASA's chief scientist, Thomas Zerbuchin, used last week when he described why the space agency created a new team of experts to study unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAPs, also known as UFOs. Zerbuchin was explaining why the space agency decided to investigate UAPs. Data is the language of scientists, and it makes the unexplainable explainable. UAP can be loosely defined as events in the sky that cannot be identified as aircraft or as no natural phenomenon. This is a very broad definition of UAP. The United States Department of Defense has recently verified that there have been a total of 400 reported sightings of unidentified flying objects, the majority of which still defy rational explanation. The first of its kind UAP panel at NASA is made up of 16 people, each of whom is a world-class specialist in their own field. These fields include physics, astrobiology, artificial intelligence, and aerospace engineering. The group will conduct an unclassified data analysis on documented UAP sightings over the period of nine months, with the goal of shedding light on the possible nature of the recorded contacts. Midway through the year 2023, the independent study group will publish a report of their findings that will be made available to the public. This report will be a summary of their findings, and NASA hopes that it will lay the groundwork for future study and provide a roadmap to navigate any future UAP encounters. Understanding the data we have surrounding mysterious aerial phenomena is crucial to helping us form scientific conclusions about what is happening in our skies, says Zerbuchin. Exploring the unknown in space and in the atmosphere is at the heart of who we are at NASA. Daniel Evans, who was in charge of orchestrating the study and served as Zerbuchin's deputy, was the one who selected the group of 16. They constitute a strong basis of multidisciplinary knowledge that will assist NASA in solving the enigma of the world's inexplicable aerial phenomenon and were chosen for their individual quality, which led to their selection. NASA has brought together some of the world's leading scientists, data and artificial intelligence practitioners, and aerospace safety experts, all with a specific charge, which is to tell us how to apply the full focus of science and data to UAPs. The group got together for the first time on Monday, October 24th, and they started their investigation by combining data from various sources, including civilian, government, and commercial organizations. Their goal was to develop a new NASA policy on how UAP data can be collected and analyzed in the future in the most effective way possible. The space agency and other organizations will be able to understand better what is going on with these enigmatic objects in the sky with the assistance of this roadmap. According to NASA, the study will focus on finding available data, how the best possible data collections can be utilized in the future, and how NASA can use that data to advance the scientific understanding of UAPs. It is tough to validate and provide an explanation for any observation when one does not have access to a comprehensive data set. In June, when NASA announced that they would commission the study team, they stated that there was no proof UAPs are of extraterrestrial origin. Since that time, NASA has continued to maintain this stance. However, the space agency went on to say that it is currently quite difficult to draw scientific conclusions on the nature of UAPs due to a lack of data 
that is currently available, and that the findings of their working group could potentially be extremely important, both for the national security of the United States and for aviation safety. Recent times have seen the circulation of a number of hypotheses regarding the possible origin of UAPs. However, additional research will be required to determine whether or not they are simply natural atmospheric anomalies, advanced aerial technologies from countries such as Russia or China, or whether or not it is possible that they may be, in fact, of extraterrestrial origin. Zerbuchin explains that they have access to a broad range of observations of Earth from space, and that now, with this study, they have the tools and team who can help us improve our understanding of the unknown. NASA believes that the tools of scientific discovery are powerful, Sir Buchan says. Two things cannot be questioned. First, the existence of UAPs has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Second, the presence of these objects in our atmosphere poses a genuine risk to aviation safety. The question that must yet be answered is whether or not the danger we face is inanimate, a natural phenomenon, the result of deliberate action, or even perhaps hostile in origin and intent. This most recent UAP study has begun in the midst of a number of other UFO-related discoveries and task forces, all of which are attempting to investigate the possibility of extraterrestrial life and debunk the mysteries surrounding the aerial phenomenon that are currently beyond the realms of explanation. Recently, NASA's Perseverance rover discovered what may be the biosignatures of ancient microbial alien life on the rocky surface of Mars. In addition, earlier this year, the Pentagon established a new Defense Department office to identify and track UFOs. Both of these discoveries were made in the same year. This new Department of Defense office has been established with the goal of mitigating any threats that UAPs may pose to the safety of operations and national security. The office has identified several categories of phenomenon that it intends to keep a close eye on, including anomalous, unidentified space, airborne, submerged, and transmedia objects. The formation of this task force was sparked both by an increasing amount of evidence of UAPs recorded by military aircraft sensors, and by a large number of first-hand sightings of objects in the skies reported by Navy pilots. Most people believe these objects in the sky are unidentified flying objects or UFOs. A very unsettling incident that the Pentagon authenticated was caught on camera by the Navy. In the footage, an unexplained object appears to descend from the sky into the ocean. The fact that this particular occurrence involved movement in both the air and water may provide some insight into the reasoning for the Pentagon's decision to list transmedia as one of the distinguishing features of UAPs that they will explore. A long-awaited study on the United States Office of National Intelligence's current understanding of unidentified aerial phenomenon and the possible threat they may pose was finally published the year before this task force was established. Their response, on the other hand, was quite equivocal. All they said was that the items probably lack a single explanation. Only one of the 144 UAPs examined as part of the study could be explained, and that explanation was a big balloon in the process of deflating. However, the experts did notice that some potential patterns do emerge in the behavior of UAPs with specific similarities in their size, shape, and especially propulsion. Several of the unidentified flying object reports that were investigated for this report involved objects that looked like they used sophisticated technology. This assumption was made based on the fact that 21 of the accounts mentioned unusual movement patterns or flight characteristics 
such as the ability to remain stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, maneuver abruptly, or move at considerable speed without a discernible means of propulsion. UFO enthusiasts have speculated for a long time about these kinds of secrets that might be kept within Area 51 and other classified locations and reports. However, given the plethora of implausible and ridiculous tales, it is safe to say that, more often than not, it appears as though their imagination has gotten the better of them. The current climate on the search for extraterrestrial life, though not yet broaching tall, green-skinned, googly-eyed looking creatures, has moved past the stage of disregarding fake sightings or debunking wacky theories such as the implementation of these government task force and NASA study group reveals. This is because the current climate on the search for extraterrestrial life has been shown by the performance of these government task force and NASA study groups. The world's governments and organizations are inching their way more and more towards putting their faith in the tools of science to come up with definitive solutions. The findings of the UAP study conducted by NASA will shed more light on the mysterious objects spotted in our skies. This would satisfy our security, safety, and existential curiosity needs. The question of whether or not they are hostile, natural, or extraterrestrial in origin has yet to be answered. But what do you think about this? Tell us in the comments and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, make sure to turn on notifications for every new update. Thanks for watching.